We are done extraction. And I feel just about the way I look right now. A little frazzled, but we got her done, all wrapped up. And right now we're just trying to, we're spending a long weekend Saturday and just kind of reorganizing things to bring some order back to the place. Feels good to be done, but we're only done one job. On to the next. This is almost like when it gets real busy, so you're so focused on one job, only one thing, to get that one thing done. Now you're done, take a breath, and then you're just hit with this monster amount of work ahead of you to get done before winter sets in. So we're just kind of in that breather state right now, just trying to bring some order back to the honey house and then we're gonna jump right back into the work. I'm not gonna be so bold, but to say this, well, actually I'm going to be. There's a reason why you don't see a lot of honey house videos online. I'll show my honey house videos anytime throughout the extracting year, from the beginning, middle, to the end, anytime throughout the day. And there's a reason for it, and I'll show you why. Throughout the day, we put an extreme amount of attention towards cleanliness. Keeping this place washed down. Carrie, she washes the place down every day after extraction. Hard work, and it pays off. Look at this equipment, it looks like brand new. After our hard day's work of all the honey and wax mess, it gets complete and propolis, I mean, Whoever runs chain extractors knows how hard it is to get these chains cleaned up. But after every day, Carrie keeps on top of all the mess by cleaning up the mess. So everything looks like this after every extraction day. So any time that I take a video or any time that I show the production facility, I am never ashamed what the place looks like because the place is always in tip-top condition. Now we are at the end of the production season and as every beekeeper knows the wax spinner is a disaster. This is after the product though so it's just a matter of trying to maintain the cleanliness of the wax on the floor. That's a chore. My wax melter is down right now because I burnt out an element, so I just got to replace that so we can get back to our wax chores. And odds and ends, like I got a bit of wax plugged up in the pipe there I got to get at. Uh, I have a repair I made throughout the season. My motor went and I had to replace it. And of course it's an odd size motor and I had to replace it with stock. So I quickly made a brace to get this thing up and running and I couldn't find a way to tighten it except for this 2x6. So see if I is not going to like that but this is all on the outside of the machine and they can accept my due diligence on that. Everything else pretty much held together for me. I'm quite happy. We found the magic of purple powder or purple power. What is it? Power, purple, purple power, and look at the job it does on the floor. We have to make sure that when we use that product that we have to wash it off the floor because it is very strong. I know a farmer that washed down a combine, a red combine with it, and didn't rinse it enough and it turned it pink. So the stuff is very powerful and it does a really good job, it's just you got to respect it. And look at this place, see? Eh? It's got a shine to it. How many hours do you put in after every extracting day? Two hours of cleanup? Anyways. Yeah, <laughs> yep. paid, paid overtime. So we are done extraction. We ran out of barrels and we have another 10 barrels in this tank. So I gotta get a backhaul of 10 barrels to finish off the season. Quite happy with that. And I think what I'm going to do next year 
and this good old reliable I'm going to upgrade. It pumped a lot of honey for us this year. And just in the back of my mind every day is if this pump can give out on me, I have nothing to back up on. So what I want to do is to refurbish this pump, keep it for my backup pump, and put a nice stainless steel pump in there to further my plan of, you know, see if I have compliance. It's a continual process. And then the same thing with Good old Viking pumps here. I mean, these are very adequate, but they're old and they're not stainless steel. So my, you know, my plan is to upgrade these with a stainless steel pump, and I'll hold these as my backup. So I might might be able to invest into that this coming winter. We'll see. Whew. So this is our final cleanup. I'm just about to grab a drum to drain the lines drain out the sump and do this before we hit the yards again because if we hit the yards before we drain the pipes we'll never get to the pipes and they'll be solid because we extract a lot of canola honey right at the end there and as soon as I get barrels drain off the tank and clean her out so there's cheers to a good year